Банде Гуру Падад Дандам Бхактарин Досаманитам Се Чайтанна Пагум Банде Нитананда Саудитам Се Нанда Ванча Карпатар Вашчики Пасинд Девача Адхитанан Пабуни Бхамишна Бипью Наму Наму Мукан Карути Ванча Лантан Мунглан Хайти Грин Ядки Пата Махангаванди Парама Нанду Мадру Бендау Итунси Дебай Квиави Кесва Сача Шнавакти Бари Деви Шаттава Твей Наму Намаха Нарайар Намаскитта Нарунча Иванаруттама Девин Сарасватин Расан Тато Джайо Маде Шанкиртане Кишно Катху Падеси Гаурия Патрашо Пракасане Ча Садану Ратта Гуру Бхакти Юкта Бхакти Прамадакша Джагодарана Дейям Сада Парибабанна Мавишта Духам Тетас Падам Сива Виринчинатам Сарана Витати Хам Панатобал Бхабати Бутам Банде Махапурушате Чарана Рубинда Яд Пада Паллава Накачанна Мани Чатая Биспуриджи Дугама Бигаводу Шивадарши Пурнану Рагара Сосагару Сарамурти Сарадхика Мани Кадам Кибан Каруши Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунитана Си Аддайта Галандхар Сивасади Гаура Бхакта Бинда Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунитана Си Аддайта Галандхар Сивасади Гаура Бхакта Бинда Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари Хари Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ajahn Ulambita Bhujo Kanaka Bodato Shankirtana Kapitaru Kamala Yatakshu Visham Baru Dijavaru Jugalad Mupalu Bande Jagat Priyakaru Karuna Bhutaru Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Nama Migangi Tabapad Pankajam Сура Сура Ирвандито Тибарупа Буктин Чамуктин Чадада Синитам Бава Нурупена Садана Нарайяну приеману комода пухарам, барану зипуропути ходови и шагарата, ваги саджошо багане, лакшмир джасача вакшаси, ясся Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Rama, Hari, Rama, Rama, Hari, Hari, Krishna, Hari, Krishna, 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 Hari, Hari, गौरी गोष्ठीपति शीशी लवक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड जेट बाय फ्रॉम द साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ इन एनी हाउ जीवात्मा दे कैन नॉट गेट आउट ऑफ दैट एट ऑल फ्रॉम द साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ दिस इज एक्चुअली गोइंग in order to get out of that there is no other pathway to open open for us only one pathway is open that pure guru vaishnav on, on to the lotus feet if we take their ashray under their guidance we are if they if we are doing bhajan then only we can get out of that that is uh, the of this material world this of this material world this uh, this trap is there the strap of this material world what you are seeing this by jad abhinivesh no one no one can actually protect us from that at all no one at all, at all can protect us only and only by the eternal parshad of bhagwan shri gorang parshad and bhagwan shri krishna's eternal parshad shri guru dev is only can cut this sansar through sansar rupi uh, death trap can be cut by them by any how they will be they can protect us from that that all those uh, eternal parshad of bhagwan shri guru pad padm they only can get out from this trap of death why we are actually speaking death material is not at all death yes it is actually death you haven't understand what uh, actually it it is spoken here material world is actually compared with death this is one kind of trap one one trap one kind of trap of maya devi this material world is where your consciousness gets trapped and going down that is definitely it is equivalent to that only when your consciousness is when your consciousness is getting underrated down and down which i've already there it in gita that is actually death only that material world material world it is just one kind of trap of maya their consciousness become nearly nil zero that's why that all those pure guru vaishnav this kind of uh, material world it's actually equivalent to death they are actually uh, giving us the protection from this material world this where actually there is no consciousness at all there if you will stay alive also what is the use of staying alive just by staying alive also you will get death just by staying alive you will get death that is actually sansar material world jinda murda means that you are uh, living but still you are dead you are alive but still you are dead just like a uh, 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 living dead body moving dead body you and uh, have heard it no so shri bhagwan's uh, eternal parshad and those who are eternal gaur parshad that guru dev only can help us in getting out of this material bondage of maya he can just protect us from this material bondage and he can uh, Uh, deliver us from this uh, uh, maya and can give that paripurna chetan vastu topmost conscious uh, object to us 
and that's why to do uh, the bhagavad seva like that he can just protect it from this material maya from uh, he can protect us from that and who is guru who is lagu this kind of conception can come nowadays it is almost nil equivalent to zero nowadays who is guru and who is lagu all which are actually has at present it's just equivalent to zero it's not there it is almost nil but propat actually speaking this which are it is very much important to hear those that sakal gurus aradhya vastu that absolute truth that absolute truth that only and only aradhya vastu of that sadguru that aradhya uh, worshipable object of that aradhya guru of that sadguru that kind of uh, those uh, mahatmas who are un- un- uninterrupted all the time they are worshiping uh, uh, bhagwan that same guru that we they are it is like not like a swimming guru that he will be teaching me swimming like amridang guru he will be just teaching me amridang like a english guru they are not like that guru hmm, not at all in bhagwat ji mahapuran it's so openly written there as well guru na sasya sajjanu na sasya pita na sasya sajjanu na sasya daivam na sasya eh patim na sasya proper speaking that that guru is not there that that mother is not mother that demigod is not demigod that father is not father that friend is not friend that swami is not swami who cannot protect me from the hanging death hanging uh, clutches of death from there they can't protect me from the hands of death they cannot protect me they are not at all that and those those who cannot give us the actual transcendental uh, swarup they cannot give us that those who are unable to give us that transcendental swarup they cannot be my guru or at all those who cannot uh, take me out from this material world this abhinivesh of this material world they cannot take me out of that that kind of admixture of rajas satatamagun which is there of this material world they cannot take me out of that that kind of uh, death of this material world they cannot protect me what kind of guru he is propa speaking that from unknowledgeable unknowledgeableness without unknowledge that death is coming by that when you don't have when you have lack of knowledge that darkness and lack of knowledge that no uh, knowledge about tattva atma vastu atma tattva nothing no knowledge is there no sambandh gyan is there definitely he gonna die that's why vrindavan das ta ko writing so so by this agyan lack of knowledge from this lack of knowledge we are actually going towards the mouth of death we are going into that mouth of death and by knowledge that topmost divya divyagyan by topmost brahma knowledge that we are getting out of the clutches of the mouth of death we cannot get into the we cannot go into the mouth of death at all there is no chance definitely there our pathway is to return from the pathway of death towards golok that we cannot go towards the mouth of death we cannot go into that at all in this material world that kind of knowledge what we are seeing that material knowledge we are actually collecting that material knowledge all the time people are collecting that in this material world that kind of knowledge they are collecting in this material world they they like paralysis someone is getting everything is uh, done for a person he can't do anything even that after death also that kind of uh, identity of a jiva is not at all there in the similar manner if the knowledge that technology 
that kind of just by having that uh, getting the instructions from big like from big big companies they are giving you big big offers you come here with in us and uh, when you will come to india we will give you this and we will give you this kind of arrangements and this kind of uh, good things we will give you and we'll give you offers you join our company why because they have this kind of news that which which university who which uh, which person is coming and according to that that in the sports field also in the field of education everywhere this kind of uh, thing is going on that uh, your our company will give you 2 lakh rupees uh, monthly and flat car everything they will give you but proper speaking that if these people in on when they are coming to india after that they are they are getting brain stroke or they are becoming paralytic then they have become useless after that their company will be giving them this kind of nice offers no not at all they will give the money no not at all why why they will not give they, that the same person is there no that same person is there he must have give but still he will not why because he is of no use now at all that uh, knowledge you have already taken up it is it is of no use is useless when you are getting paralytic or you are getting brain stroke lot of money you have just uh, getting the education from abroad uh, after uh, giving lot of money there and you have came back to india and after getting death this kind of knowledge this technology this kind of language it is of no use at all no value after when you are dead it is of no use the actual absolute truth is the absolute truth if you want to face that if you want to realize that if you don't want to re- get realize that kind of absolute truth that absolute truth actual absolute truth if you don't want to realize in your life you don't have any vichar regarding that then you don't have any kind of desire to know the actual truth then we will become achetan achetan you know that is called achetan only like prabodhana saraswati pad actually speaking the actual truth if you if you don't want to get inside your heart then definitely your achetan you this kind of chetan there is no use of that just like uh, cat and dog this chetna will be there that uh, uh, just uh, who can just uh, take me from the mouth of death who can take me from the hands of death and can deliver me that what is actually the use of that guru who can't protect me from that 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 guru lekin duniya ka aadmi kisi bhi haalat se the material man he will won't understand that at all any how he won't understand at all this is just he has taken one kind of form uh, pratigya in his life they have already taken that uh, firm decision in their life that we will not hear what guru baat pad mein speaking at all that pani pak payu vastu itadi etc all these the all material sense organs for their enjoyment in those in this that guru actually is taking me out of that are you will i will be taking you to the foreign country Huh? I'll you will be just getting married to a foreign girl. Okay, no worries. I'll give you ten lakh rupees to you. You just start one new business. This guru, this is not guru. He's cheater number one. Number one fraudster he is. He's not guru at all. Today, now the actual fraudsters, they are actually getting the topmost value in this material world. I am actually very much uh, surprised to see that what to do for these kind of people. for this kind of people what i can do in my life you tell me that i want to do mangal i am giving thousands of chances to do their mangal but they actually are getting a mangal in their life what to do they won't understand what i am speaking they and anyhow won't understand definitely they will go to want to go to hell 
I am actually getting surprised to see this. I am becoming very much afraid and surprised to see that one person has come to me from two to four years he was hearing Mahari Katha and I have just uh, welcomed him. He is not at all grahasthi but still he just came but still he is grahasthi <laughs> according to the uh, Siddhant Vichara Prabhupada. I have actually, I am not at all there in Goshala. I am actually outside Goshala. I am staying up far away because in library I have so much seva here there. So these people actually speaking, definitely I will come. Are where he will come? I don't know. Okay, Gaur Purnima, I don't have place where he will come. I'll give you one example regarding this. You will be finding really well that uh, my Prachista up till how much point, but still I am getting a lot of uh, insult from others. So much things I am getting, but still, I have told him, okay, you can come to me. And he came to me. I haven't given him the invitation all the time. He's speaking that I will come to you. Okay, you come and where you will stay or not. Then, Because we don't have any guest house in Goshala. We don't have any place in Goshala also. One Brahmachari has come and he actually came at the time of Gaur Purnima. So you just, he should stay there. And whatever prasadam this that he can take and he can come to me. I can't come there, no, because he can come to me. But he don't want to come to me. <laughs> I have actually already welcomed him. Uh, just giving giving um, room, everything he has given. <laughs> Cold water, hot water, everything I have given to him. But he just uh, closed the door and he just want to stay there. And devotee is speaking that you go to Baba. No, no, no. Today I will not. Why? You will not go today? He don't want to come. He want to just take rest. And again, after that, he just came and I told him 40 minutes that so that Aparat should not come because most of the people, if some actually going towards some uh, other, they are thinking that uh, he is one kind of uh, servant. He don't have even one paisa of relation with him, with me. I haven't taken even one penny from anyone. But still, he actually, he is not at all coming to me. He is not at all hearing Hari Kirtan, Hari Katha. Only just closing door and just doing. Are, it's some accident will be done, then my some insult will be done. I insult will be done on me only. That's why he is not at all calling anyone. So all devotees actually, you have his phone number. You just call him. A Prabhuji, actually you come to us. That you told us that I will come tomorrow. That you will come today and we will just... No, 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 I will not come today. Uh, definitely you have to come today. You come today, definitely today. You come today. Just by speaking, he become really much uh, angry. Uh, so that you can come here. Because I understand that what kind of person he is. He is just one kind of fraudster. No mood of seva at all. No one wants to come. They will just become sevya. He is bonded soul. He is actually just taking Mahaprasadana, okay. But at least he has to hear Harikat, Harikirtan. He just, uh, he is just like a spy. He has come in the house and just taking Prasadam and sleeping there. You come here and he just become very angry and he's taken his uh, uh, all belongings and going to the other place. Wherever he has gone, we don't know. And he's speaking that uh, Babaji Maharaj has just kicked me out of his Goshala. Are, what is this? I am in my Bongla center. It is 5 to 7 kilometers away. And it, where actually is Goshala? And he is just speaking that I have just kicked him. So much uh, nonsense he is speaking. Already this previously also has done from outside. He has just come without welcoming. From Tripura that person also comes. Same fraudster. I told him that I won't be able to uh, accommodate anyone. If he wants, to, if I wants to make their mangal, they actually a mangal will come. And in my name, they are actually insulting me. So from where they can get mangal? So how this jivatma can get mangal? You tell me. Maybe he don't have any one pesa, one penny kind of uh, relation. Just by very sound knowledge, I am just speaking harikatha to him. But he won't understand that at all. What to do? So in order to just protect one bonded jiva, it's so much difficult. So we don't have this kind of idea in us at all. That's why Prabhupada used to speak. That's why Prabhupada used to speak. That's why Prabhupada used to speak. It is next to impossible. It is next to impossible if there is any word. 
next to impossible if some word is there then you can apply that so much difficult it is to get one jeevatma out of the bondage so very much actually this very much surprised i am used to see that from so much hari katha you have heard from uh, last he is thinking i am feeling attraction for hari okay you uh, 15000 <laughs> from 2 to 3 years you are hearing 15000 hari katha you are speaking from 2 to 3 4 years i am already hearing you have 15000 hari katha what you are I am actually just staying in one room and doing some uh, kitchen. How much time you are doing kitchen? Three time kitchen you are doing, and still you are not at all feeling well here. So you see what it is. <laughs> he is a person or he is a animal. Definitely he is a person, but no kind of humanity is there. What to do? And he is speaking all lie. You see. so those who are actually who are believing him definitely he is also believing him that so he is in just that category kind of a person only so that's why this jo mere ko baat pani baat payu posto hamara indriyogram hamara sense gratification our own sense gratification jo guru that guru for my sense gratification for my own sense gratification he is helping me so that my sense gratification can get uh, he is actually helping me okay i'll give you this he is not at all guru he is actually fraudster number 1 he is fraudster number 1 that he is not at all guru he is actually number 1 one chak prabhupad speaking but that guru who is giving me very strong pravachan and just in order to arrange my actual mangal in my life and he is speaking all uh, he is actually giving strict arrangements to me that is actually guru who is actually getting my actual mangal even slightest deviate deviation i am and he is speaking very 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 uh, strong arrangements for me the strict arrangements then i am speaking that he cannot uh, that person cannot uh, get my point at all so how how he they are getting hari naam diksha i don't know how they are getting who that person is giving that hari naam diksha to them i don't know at all hari naam diksha that they are becoming making them sadhu whereas bhakti no thakur is strictly prohibited bhakti no thakur strictly prohibiting this point that you don't need to give any kind of hari naam diksha that even a small i'll give you one example that one important person of this material world that so called important personality of this material world shila sachidan bhakti mohan thakur actually are speaking to him that thakur that so much restriction why it is required said you are giving so much restriction how why it is required everyone has to come in gaudiya bhajan and survival of the fittest will be the actual thing there everyone can come in gaudiya bhajan this form will be applicable who can stay who can stay otherwise other can go away bhakti vinod thakur speaking no not at all no sir not that it is not at all possible like that bhakti vinod thakur speaking this vichar is definitely wrong it is not at all possible like that why because gorang mahaprabhu this uh, that nirmal prem dharma that uh, has contaminated so much by the just because of the misarrangement of these acharyas this uh, bhakti mohan thakur speaking that so much contamination has come in this tot mon nirmal prem of gorang mahaprabhu that external people are also just uh, uh, spitting on it they are hit, hating this the vimal prem dharma of chaitanya mahaprabhu we don't want we will not allow to contaminate it at all we with full vichar dhara and thoughtful process we will not allow all people to come just like dog dogs and cats they we will not allow them to come like monkeys they can come in our sampraday no not at all we will not allow them bhakti vinod thakur definitely you just just write it down bhakti vinod thakur speaking this point very carefully it is better that whole goshala should be empty rather than that goshala 
will be uh, there with full of uh, very clever and uh, beastly cows it is better to that the goshala should remain empty so uh, bhakti mata thakur uh, is not at all uh, efficient you are more efficient huh? you are thinking that bhakti mata thakur you are more efficient than bhakti mata thakur this is yes you want to speak no i am actually becoming very surprised those who though which people who are that in this godia samaj they are actually the enemies of godia samaj they are actually the enemies of godia samaj those without any thinking they are actually putting all these people into this tilak mala everything they are giving they are foolish number one they don't know actually about godia samaj and godia bhajan definitely they gonna destroy themselves 100% that gorang mahaprabhu is speaking this what to speak what they what is actually going on like this that after when he is coming it is very surprise you see that just by getting out of the train if if some 18 for 18 to 22 hours rest is done that rest and everything prasadam is done after what kind of weakness he can be having he don't want to get uh, in connection with me why why you have actually came now why you have come to me that if you don't want to hear hari katha are you just strict uh, hari katha so that i am speaking that you can take your luggage out you have this uh, small room is there and after that he is just want to just uh, don't want to and in my name he is actually putting one kind of uh, uh, insult on my name that what kind of things i have done i have kicked him so he is speaking all lie like this that baba ji maharaj has just kicked me out of his goshala are just what you know what will be the actual result you will get that big big acharya also already have got that they have just spoken lie they have they will not at all get that how you will also get that just by speaking lie you will get out of the actual thing that you are speaking lie what will be the actual result you will get definitely you will get the result i am telling you prabhupad actually speaking that guru pad padma dot who is giving me strict uh, rules and regulations and he is just, just at the same time giving me prema with very and he in order to make me a firm sadhu he is actually putting me pressure hey you have to do you get up like this he is speaking are you just may put one thing that at afternoon 2 o'clock that in this summer time summer is just coming at the time of summer he need boiled water <laughs> boiled water to take bath i don't have any kind of uh, i am cool. i have just a servant i don't want to take any kind of service are i need to uh, boil water just like in as if he came in the hotel so who, who actually is giving them diksha i don't know at all i don't know who is actually giving them diksha he will not at all take bath in the morning in the just start st- is be sleeping no kirtan he is doing like a paralytic patient he is actually taking prasadam and sleeping so like this is his condition and opposite he, in return he is giving me insult even he have hasn't given me 1 rupee also and i haven't taken from anyone also those who have shraddha okay uh, uh, he has given me otherwise i am not at all taking from anyone but still this is the actual thing what to do that guru inside in his hands that guru in his hands bhagwan hamara mangal ka he has given us the actual mangal in the hand of that gurudev bhagwan has given the responsibility of our mangal mera mangal ka tamam that our amangal our mangal that responsibility is given to that guru bhagwan has given that onto the lotus feet of that guru i am i am actually paying dandavat on to his lotus feet mera pranam hai that i have paid dandavat fraction of second that dandavat is there on to his lotus feet to guru charan that on to the lotus feet of gurudev on that say guru charan that that is my actual uh, responsibility to do the seva but i haven't done the seva this is my actual fault maine that i मैंने एक आदमी
that I am actually speaking to one person. Okay, what to speak? What to do? He can stay. He can get some mangal. This is my actual fault. That why I have just uh, uh, putting mercy on him and just uh, putting him into the goshala. Whether he is a Tripura person, whether he is a Pune wala person, whosoever he is, even a foreigner also. Not even one year, just nine months. Actually, it was there. Immediately, without asking, he has just came, and he is actually just uh, don't have any money. And he came to me. No chappal is there. No bag. Nothing he has at all. He came to me. And after that, he is speaking. I will just uh, stay with Baba. I am not at all actually staying in Goshala. Maybe in two times I am coming uh, Saturday and Sunday to Goshala, and that is from nine to three I am coming to Goshala. And he is speaking all doing uh, rubbish, opposite things there. And after that, that he even small seva he can't do at all. Not even small seva he can perform there. But after that, he just started crying and uh, immediately without any reason he just went away. He don't want to do any kind of seva. What to do? Only just to stay. But for seva, he won't do that at all. So that's the condition. Those people who are actually going out of from me, again, I am not at all allowing them to come. If he is going, then he is going away. That's it. He can go. I will not allow them to come again. The contamination, full contamination. So whatever be the case in Brahma Samhita, the f- first vishay of Brahma Samhita. Is this or material vishay? This is the actual condition. What to do? And about this also in Brahma Samhita. About this in Brahma Samhita. It's already written. Sri Brahma Ji Maharaj. In the first week, I have already told. Just in order that you can understand the point again, and I will be just going in the next slok of what actually speaking. Dharma, Adharma, that sinful and good activities. All the Shruti Guns. Tat Samoha. And from Brahma up to, down to the beast, all jivas, for them, for whom that by the actual support of their karuna, by the actual support of their mercy, that according to their own capacity, they are actually showing that, their own capacity. And already they are showing their capacity, whether he is Indra, whether he is Varun, whether Shankar, whosoever he is. That by whom, by following that we are speaking dharma and adharma, then pap punya that good good and sinful activity, shuti gan, and brahma from down the ants, all by the actual kripa on the adhar of that kripa, on the basis of his kripa, they are actually showing their capability. They all the time it that. That Adi Purush Bhagwan Govind, that I am, I am worshipping him. In the actual uh, conclusion and purport of this, I have already just given the conclusion also regarding this. And yesterday, I will just I'll give you just a reminder regarding this again. I shall under the anugatya of Shila Bhakti no Thakur, I'll be doing this vichar that that what is there written in the Vedas that Vedodito 
that which is already prescribed in the Vedas, that is actually dharma. And that ag- against uh, that, that is a dharma. That in the sixth canto it is written like that. That what is there in the Vedas, that is called dharma. And what not uh, doing opposite or against that is called a dharma. That one is not to do, that is also good if you are not following. But you are going opposite what they are written in the Vedas. You to, to do opposite, you haven't done, that is okay. That is okay. But to do opposite, to do uh, opposite of what written in the Vedas, that is karma, a karma and vikarma. That's why in India is actually called Karm Bhumi. Why? Because kar- Bhar- Bharat, Bharat is actually called Karm Bhumi, India. Why? Because it is Ved Vihit Karma. That Ved Vihit were Karma, the actual place is there in Bharat only, in India. That Ved Vihit Karma, the actual place, it is there in India only. This sloka actually of Gita. So this is actually called Dharma Khetra and Karma Khetra. Why? Because this is Karma Khetra. Because what is written in the Vedas already, that is uh, according to the Vedas, that rules and regulations we are following. That how to do our daily actu- activities. Whether that definitely this Bharat is actually Hindu Rashtra, but still Hindu nation. But still opposite is happening. What to do? Where actually all avatars of Bhagwan have already manifested his Dila there. There, that according to the Vedas, all the society, this is actually getting uh, together. That's why karma, karma, that is karma. And a karma means that what is written in the Vedas. That in the Vedas, what actually is written, that you are not at all performing at all. That what is there in the Vedas, that is uh, karma. And what is there in the Vedas, you are not at all following that. That is called a karma. And to do opposite what is written in the Vedas, that is called vikarma. So, dharma, that Vedodit vichar, according to that, that is actually called dharma. Varna dharma, ashram dharma. This is already already this in present in Bharat Bhumi. That out of this Brahman Khatri Vaishya Shudra Jishchar Varn has come. That according to their behavior, the dharm which is given to their respective varna, they have to follow. So in this These all four varna, according to their behavior, that is called varna dharma. And brahmachari, grahastha, vantrastha, sanyasi, these are all ashram dharma. That is called ashram dharma. This two kinds of varna and ashram dharma, in these two kinds of dharma, uh, human beings having all the kind of achran, adarsha, and characteristic is actually getting a uh, uh, position like what kind of acharan and others he should be getting and whatever kind of sinful activities he will be doing it's all called avaid acharan Shrutigans, it means that Rig, Sam, Yajur, everything is there in Shrutigan. Tadio, Tadio, Shiro Bhushanaro, Bhishad, all the press jewels. And according to that, Vedant is also like that. And that actually, Dharma is actually positioned in center. And Dharma, by taking in front whatever kind of practice you are doing. By keeping dharm in front, that kind of instruction is called that dharma. By putting 
in front the target whatever kind of practices you are making i will give you one example regarding this when you are putting dharma in front by speaking dharma if you think that it is bhagavad dharma then it is more good because this is the actual dharma of atma but if you are thinking of the general dharma then it is the general dharma but there is no value of general dharma at all the dharma mano dharma samaj dharma everything is there but they don't have any value of their own at all morning at 3 am to 3:30 am you have to get up this is one kind of the basya why because you have to just do jap of gayatri in uh, by putting dharm in front whatever you will do and uh, whatever kind of uh, eating you are making you have to morning time up till 9 o'clock you okay sm- very small you are taking prasadam and water and uh, some actually are taking only one time uh, prasadam in their uh, day time in their in their whole day so it depends upon how your body is getting adjusted it's according to that if they have to do parikrama so like this they have to do the adjustment it may be 84 crores parikrama or maybe govardhan parikrama 24 kilometers you have to do so this is all coming in tapasya just for the just making bhagwan in front just in, not for uh, making if actually it is done for the actual uh, enjoyment of bhagwan that it will become atma dharma why because confusion is uh, can be there general dharma and bhagavad dharma that is the only difference that bhagavad dharma who are actually there pratishtit in that that each and every activity it is for the satisfaction of guru vishnu and bhagwan that is actually the uh, symptom of a atma dharma bhagavad dharma that i already told you regarding regarding this and after this in tapasya this pancha tapa it is very much difficult to perform and ashtanga yoga brahma gyan everything inside that or in pancha tapa what i have told is very difficult in the uh, rain time rainy time or weather in a very cold weather you that you just need to go inside water and in the hot temperature you have to put the fire in all the four direction in co uh, uh, in hot hot temperature you have to sit outside these are all kind five kind of uh, tap which you need to perform but on this vishay especially just be careful that uh, all kinds of things what you are performing that all these things that i have already told you regarding this this is all for all the bonded bond bonded souls it all comes in the cycle of birth and death that it comes it in there they have no pathway open to get out of this karma chakra of birth and death it is coming in the cycle of birth and death only and uh, all these kind of things what i have already told you that it is all for the bonded soul in they will be just uh, coming inside Uh, the cycle of birth and death especially all those bounded jeevas those who are in this 84 species 84 lakh species slowly steadily they are just uh, changing their body like that tomorrow i will be telling you how they are taking human species kinnar species bird wild animals like this uh, their life will be going like that what to do sometimes sometimes snake sometimes kinner like this their life is going for to do this is jeev tat so they will be going like that all those bonded souls in this 84 lakh species so in the same manner they will be taking birth in snake kinner gandharv like this they will be just moving like that and they have no other pathway open in front of them only pathway no pathway is open for them at all so like this it is going like that from infinity time period very very dangerous situation like this what to do and sometimes demigods some kinner like this they are going down and our krishnadas kaviraj goswami we also pad also writing he is also writing this point what he is writing 
that jivas are actually in this tavar jangam he is already in the bonded condition everything lot kind a lot of kind of categories are there division is there i'll be talking it tomorrow so sometime damning god sometime asur sometime demon sometime human beings sometime uh, snake kinnar gandhar like this all the time the he will be cycle of birth and that will be going on like that in the 84 lakh species it all the time it will go on so all these sakal jivas all these sakal jivas from brahma till the very infinitesimal small species that even brahma is also coming in category of jiva but it is actually topmost jiva in the topmost category of jivas from brahma till the in gita also bhagwan already told this point again in gita also bhagwan speaking the same thing what he speaking bhagwan speaking arjun from brahma till the end all actually are going on in cyclic order like they are just going from the cycle of birth and that in cyclic order but that brahma that in which kalp that in which kalp swam bhagwan has just swam bhagwan swam brahma in that kalp because of the lack of uh, shortage of such jiva in that if they are not at all getting that topmost uh, jiva who is not at all eligible to take the path of brahma then definitely bhagwan swam becoming brahma himself so jeev all those jivas from brahma till the topmost infinitesimal small species that infinity cycle of birth and that they are just going and they are going in cyclic order like that they are in the cycle of birth and that in the karma chakra cycle in the chakra of karma they are actually going in a cyclic order they are just revolving around that uh, uh, karma chakra and from brahma till the infinite bonded jivas all are actually bonded souls bonded jivas so all these bonded infinity bonded jiva that each, each and every jiva bhagwan has just putting a, a special effect inside their heart i'll give you one example regarding this that all these species that uh, one and a special power they are actually just uh, taking it and are moving just i'll give you one one or two examples regarding this like uh, honey bees that same where they are actually topmost uh, very much surprising species that all honey bees are there in this material creation inside that bhagwan has uh, given them such a kind of power that they have this kind of credibility that they can take out the nectar honey from the flowers and there in this material world no technology is there of the science that they can automatically get uh, honey from the flower that for honey we just need to uh, depend upon the sh- lotus feet of honey bees sharnagat on to lotus feet of honey bees like raj hans you can see that hans has one kind of power that he can separate milk from water if you will just mixing milk and water they can just separate the milk from water so each and every species has different different kind of specific power bhagwan has given so this power is actually all coming from bhagwan that so that's why in the shlokas it is already written what actually written just be careful what i'm speaking sanskrit by not knowing still that gyan can flow inside you भगवान सोनली बाय द एक्चुअल इफेक्ट ऑफ भगवान दोज हुर एक्चुअली लिविंग दैट ईच एंड स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ पावर दे आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग दैट ऑल दोज बॉन्डेड स्पीशीज अपट पॉइंट दे कैन लिव बट दो बड़ी नोज अबाउट दिस 
that all this effect actually is coming from they are actually not sat siddha bhav that what kind of power that all kind of uh, whole effect what we are actually seeing in different different species it is not automatically in them it is not at all automatic it is not a ball automatic automatically coming them it is actually how it is coming it is actually coming by the grip of bhagwan like i'll give you one example that indra varun all demigods were actually having full false ego in them that yes we have won a victory over we have got victory over the asuras demons but after that that uh, the brahma vastu bhagwan has just came himself in form of a very strange species and just in order to give them the actual moral my actual instruction actual moral because they don't have this kind of courage that i have given them bhagwan think each and every thinking wherever he is going to preaching and he becoming acharya whatever he is becoming oh yes that's it if on the singhasan if he is going he is becoming mad oh my god what to speak where actually humble bhav where actually all actually all kicked out they are humble bhav from they are actually all mother father and their child has wife actually she has he has actually just uh, kicked out and you see the effect of maya devi he has just uh, forgot everything when he is coming on he has said he has given a madhav goswami maharaj given place to that god brother and that same god brother just kicked him you see <laughs> if madhav goswami maharaj hasn't given him a new life then from here you where you can come and preach like false preaching you can do he, where you can go you tell me he actually he is actually forgiving asking forgiveness are what forgiveness you asking ha eh? what forgiveness you are asking you are just like a foolish owl you are just speaking this forgiveness is will be like this if i have done some kind of wrong activity then definitely of that humble mood should come inside me at i s i have just after that the question of forgiveness will come it's already written in chatan jitamrit also that where actually have done aparad then you have to go there at that place and have to ask forgiveness you have to go there and you have done infinity aparad you have done infinity aparad for each and every vaishnava to the lotus feet just life after life you have done definitely you have to go to hell life after life because mahaprabhu is speaking that where actually aparad is done that i have done aparad on the lotus feet and i am actually going to the uh, lotus feet of other to take uh, uh, forgiveness of aparad mahaprabhu speaking himself this thing to us mahaprabhu himself uh, telling us this point that if we have done aparad on the lotus feet of one krishna but if you have done aparad then on to the lotus feet of that krishna you have done aparad you have to ask forgiveness from him madhav goswami maharaj he is actually speaking all rubbish against him and then you yeah, you are actually asking forgiveness or this is just aparad what what kind of aparad you have done you don't know foolish still now inside your heart that humbleness is not at all there definitely with full guarantee i can speak with full guarantee i just just touching bhagavat i can speak that in so much confidence i have because the shastra vichar gurudev prabhupad has already told us the actual vichar of shastra prabhupad already told us i have given you the actual proof also that inside him that kind of forgiveness he don't have any kind of question regarding forgiveness this is just one kind of uh, before leaving his body he has just uh, done one kind of joking just kind of comedy he is doing that's it that i will definitely prove this and i'll be getting up out of the vyasas and just by proving this point first point is that mahaprabhu speaking that aparad where it will be definitely for forgiveness will be there mahaprabhu actually one uh, if the thorn is coming from the uh, one leg it will just come from the head i'll give you one example regarding this that prajapati daksha vaishnavanam yatha shambhu he has just uh, speaking uh, all nonsense to vaishnavanam yatha shambhu without any reason he is actually speaking all rubbish to vaishnavanam yatha shambhu he is topmost vaishnav that shambhu vaishnavanam yatha shambhu he is actually speaking all rubbish to him he is just speaking all slack language to him and after that he has to get the result of that aparad what he has done okay and after that then that just like he is getting the ass head head of an ass prajapati that he just got the head of an ass and after that he has just on the lotus feet of shankar he is asking forgiveness in bhagavatam it is written 
oh i actually done uh, very wrong you just uh, forgive me like this but still all the commentator speaking that this is just one kind of he has asked forgiveness but still inside his heart some uh, uh, smell of uh, disrespect still was there it means that it externally he is asking forgiveness inside his heart that some jealousy is there for shankar bhagwan that's why again he is not at all getting uh, free from that at all you understand the point what i'm speaking hmm the commentator speaking this point vishuna chakravarti bad etc that externally you can see that uh, they, he has the, taken uh, uh, forgiveness or the lotus feet of shankar bhagwan but after that definitely inside his heart some kind of enmity or jealousy regarding shankar is there that kind of videsh bhav is there is already there inside his heart that's why because of that that same prajetas taksha that's why this taksha getting the uh, that same prachitas taksha again have to take birth where that in the form of prachitas taksha prachitas taksha from all the prachitas are coming that prachitas taksha in the form of prachitas taksha is taking the uh, birth and again and just because his sanskar is very bad his sanskar is very bad from previous uh, birth only so because of that the previous birth he has just uh, done a pradhan to lotus feet of sanskar and then he has just uh, speaking all kind of ninda and a kind of uh, slack language to shankar bhagwan he is getting one kind of practice of this his uh, practice it just came into his practice and again he is just speaking slack language to narad ji maharaj also and uh, he has done give shrap to shankar bhagwan and again he is cursing narad ji maharaj also are all my child you have taken away and making them sadhu ha huh? how dare you ha huh? i have just curse you that you can cannot stay in one fixed one one fixed point you cannot stay at all for a long time you have to change your position you just need be going like unstable man you can't stay at a fixed point at all so this is one kind of curse of him who is the that prajapati daksh prachetas daksh's curse is this on narad muni and uh, i am just giving you one uh, practical answer regarding this those who have asked for forgiveness maybe inside my heart regarding some vishnu i am getting very on to lotus feet of guru vishnu i have done aparad that those i have done aparad on to lotus feet of pure guru vishnu i'll be just asking uh, uh, forgiveness or oh, just uh, you oh, just forgive me oh my god please forgive me whatever done is done like the case of chapal gopal he is getting that kind of uh, forgiveness when he is getting a uh, uh, skin disease after that he is asking that oh it is my fault then mahaprabhu speaking mahaprabhu on to his lotus feet he is asking uh, uh, asking forgiveness on to lotus feet of mahaprabhu oh please forgive me that your forgiveness your forgiveness you are asking ha huh? nothing has done in your life for infinity life you have to uh, get this what you are thinking eh? you get will get forgiveness i am not at all there to forgive you at all you have done a prayer on to lotus feet of shri vas pandit definitely you have to go on to his lotus feet and ask forgiveness don't ask forgiveness on me this is all madness and foolishness nobody has this kind of common sense also that they can just understand this point just like this they are speaking foolish number one no vichar are they are having at all so whatever be the case what to do they are actually speaking that uh, one to two god brothers on to his lotus feet he is actually asking uh, asking forgiveness okay you asking forgiveness on to one to two god brothers before that that what you need to speak to the disciples what all you need to speak to the disciples that uh, i have just in chaitanya charitamrit about gaudiya vishnav about gaudiya math i have just uh, spoken all rubbish things to them i am just uh, prove that they are all foolish number one and lakhs and lakhs of uh, people this chaitanya charitamrit i have distributed that you understand the point i have actually distributed that 50 to 60 years back i have given all gaudiya math what i have uh, all rubbish i have written about gaudiya math and after that i have distributed chaitanya charitamrit and each and every university all over the world all over the world in every language i have distributed that 
Yeah? I have distributed that. It's so very nice forgiveness I am asking. Yeah? Very nice article I am writing this also. Yeah? Foolish. They just one kind of foolishness everyone is going in. In all university I have given. And now they are actually just reading Chaitanya Chiritamri and they are not at all removing that from Chaitanya Chiritamri. And he is thinking that he has asked forgiveness. Just like owl they are talking. Foolish number one. Want to slap them. If they they have a just uh, speaking, all these acharyas they are speaking. In Chaitanya Tamrata, I have already uh, written, you, whatever is written in internet, you just need to withdraw that. He hasn't done that. So what kind of forgiveness you are asking? Just uh, they are making foolish. Whole world, <laughs> just making all whole, whole world foolish. That's it. So this all from Brahma till the very smallest species, up till this kind of uh, millions and millions of births, millions and millions of births, millions and millions of births are they have to just go into hell like that. This is the actual vichar of Shastra. No kind of uh, sustenance you can get out of that. No kind of sustenance is not at all available. No question of that at all. Like the case, Prabhupada, after leaving, before leaving his body. He, this is called actually humble mood. What Prabhupada is showing. Prabhupada for his whole life, he is speaking all to the whole material world in order to save that material, material creation. All bonded jivas just for the actual, uh, actual good cause for the whole material world. He has done very strict pravachan, very strict harikatha he used to speak. With full strict mood he used to speak. With full... Uh, uh, strictness and after that before going Prabhupada speaking that I have I have just given lot of Udveg to all of you I am giving lot of Udveg to you lot of sadness to you that in very Nishkapat Swarup in with full, with full Nishkapat Bhav I want to just make yourself uh, engaged in Hari Bhajan and I am speaking very strict Vani in front of you very very uh, sore bitter Vani which looks very bitter to you with full Nishkapat Swarup uh, I have to just indulge you in actual Hari Bhajan so this definitely in one birth or the other you can understand that what I I want to do for you all that is called actual uh, Karuna when Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami is speaking that that is called Dendya that is called actual Dendya you understand the point that is called actual Dendya so Parampuja Keshav Goswami when I'm speaking Parampuja Pat Keshav Goswami when I'm speaking in Katak in Katak you just be careful in Katak in Revensa College Keshav Goswami Maharaj at the last uh, step at the last stage of at the last uh, stage of the day at that last stage of the day he has to he got the he got Aranya Goswami Maharaj etc all has given him the mic to speak Harikatha and Keshav Goswami Maharaj just speaking so bitter Pravachan but inside his heart so much humble mood is there who can understand only he can understand Extra, eternal, external persons cannot understand Keshav Goswami Maharaj speaking flag end today at the flag end of this meeting that at the end of the Dharma Sabha that you have given me the mic and to speak just to speak something you have given me the instructions the previous Vakta, the previous Vakta, what he has spoken already, he is actually, he has given me lot of respect given to me. I don't know actually, it's very, very big title he has given me. I'm from big family and he has given me so much happiness and so much respect he has given me that I'm from this Kodiamat. But you please understand my point, understand my situation. This no characteristic at all is there inside me at all. That Vaishnav's their natural behavior is like this. This is the natural behavior of the Vaishnav. That they have no uh, quality, but still they are actually seeing a lot of qualities in us. Keshav Goswami Maharaj speaking. That that is the natural behavior of the Vaishnavs. That is the natural behavior of Vaishnav. That no quality is there, but still they are seeing qualities. Yeah, oh, so nice qualities are there. This is the actual behavior. So Keshav Goswami Maharaj speaking. 
that those who are coming from a big family and they are actually very uh, top most qualified intelligent and they are thinking that i am just like a fallen person and i am such a fallen person definitely this is actually called humble mood kesab ko mai ko swami mara speaking that if a very top and top most intelligent person of this material world from a very big family he is there and just like me i am just like a foolish person like me nothing no one is there in this whole material world this is called actual then i have but those who don't have any quality in him ha huh? who don't have any quality inside him no quality is there who what kind of humble mood he can show what kind of humble mood he can show he, this is actually like krishnadas kaviraj goswami krishnadas kaviraj goswami is, is actually showing so much humble mood but those but what is the actual point that like this top most situation like that like she is the actual a uh, friend of radha rani close friend of radha rani kasturi manjari associate of radha rani priya namra saki priya narma sak so top most she is but still he, he is actually speaking that i am i am just a uh, insect of the stool that worm there in the that worm there in the stool that is called danya his position is very very high very very high but still he is speaking that i am just i am a worm of a stool this is called humble mood and inside me there is no quality at all that just be showing humble mood then what is the use of that nowadays this is the actual uh, behavior of the this material world just from a very poor family he has come just two roti two chapatis also he is not at all getting but and now he is getting getting uh, crores millions and millions of rupees of property and he is just thinking that guru vishnu just like cat and dog he is actually just uh, joking with them and they don't know actually foolish number 1 this small boy that what you will get in your life that you are actually thinking the making joking of guru vaishnav that you are speaking all lie to them what will be the actual result of that you don't know at all bo oh, beta you just stop now just wait for some times what will be the actual result what will be the actual cause in their life inside my heart also i am just getting lot of uh, cry in my heart that f- and i am feeling fear that what will be the actual result for you i can already see that so from brahma till the small jiva all actually are uh, just getting into the cycle of birth and death each and every kind of uh, prabhav effect by bhagwan this kind of effect and power is actually given inside each and every species like hans is having that from the water he can just separate milk this kind of quality he has from the flowers that honey is actually taken by the honey bees this kind of quality is given uh, by bhagwan to the honey bees we cannot do that and luta kid is another one prabhupa speaking he is actually taking poison from the flowers prabhupa speaking that flowers definitely have nectar that honey bees are taking but we don't know that another thing is there in flowers that is called luta kit he is taking poison from the flowers he is extracting poison from the flower that flowers honey is or nectar is there but poison is also there in flowers that same bhagwan by the effect of that each and every species according to their helm according to their position they are actually fixed and stayed on that and they are just showing their effect that those who are actually having that kind of according to their bhagwan has given that kind of standardization to him like a mosquito he has given the power that he can suck blood just a very small insect that mosquito is such a small species he can go onto the body of anyone and can just like injection can suck all the blood from by that injection needle what he is having so you see what kind of condition what kind of power bhagwan has given to him so <coughs> govin what kind of effect and uh, what kind of power he has given that according to that power and effect that kind of effect you can see of that particular species according to uh, otherwise you cannot see that at all that is actually all given by bhagwan like in the upanishad i have given i can give you the proof that from the upanishad what kind of proof i can give 
that's dem uh, that the heaven the jay indro burun ahi etc all are actually just uh, celebrating and happiness full full happiness are we have just got victory over demons and we have just take our victory over the asuras you see and bhagwan in order to test them he has just came there and i have already told that to you that in their all the demigods get failed in their in that test and when in the swim coming there in the form of where this species has came this train species how because everyone cannot come uh, to the heaven they don't have the eligibility to come that how he can come and after that that bhagwan uma de, de has just uh, uh, manifested his leela there and indra thinking that there is one place that i have already told are he that species has just got uh, that uma demi gyandaini just came on the cloud on the sky and up in the sky just in order to speak she is actually speaking uma devi that oh indra that you are thinking what kind of false ego what was there inside you in order to just crush that into pieces bhagwan swayam para brahm parat parikleshwar has come that strange species is not other than parat parikleshwar and whatever kind of false ego just speaking in order to prove that it is all useless swayam para brahm has just came in order to test you and you have already got victory yes this para brahm parat parikleshwar this kind of by the by his effect and power only you are getting by your own power you are not at all getting anything so that's why prabhu is speaking that inside their heart whatever kind of power and effect that satya siddha prabhav it is not at all there this is not their self manifested power at all this is just false ego they are thinking that this is their self manifested power this is just given by bhagwan only that power send again when you will go ahead i have already told this kind of vichar to you that previous uh, sapta previous week i was discussing gopamatho vendra mahamsa karmo bandhan roop phalo bhajanam a em atano thi karmani nirdhati kintu cha bhakti bhajam gobindamadi purusham tam aham bhajami kya bataya what actually told here jastu indro gopamatho vendra maho आतनोति <coughs> इट मीन्स दैट वॉट इज द जनरल मीनिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट इंद्र वॉट एवर दैट वेरी स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स आर देयर वे दे आर ऑल एक्चुअली स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स इंद्र गोप एक्सेट्रा दिस काइंड ऑफ इंद्र गोप वेरी स्मॉल काइंड ऑफ इंसेक्ट ही कैन बी or all those demigods that in indra also he can become and all those karma margi those those who are without any party color are there that without any partiality partiality that bhagwan having whatever kind of individual karma phal we are getting that individual karma phal we are getting from bhagwan it is just because of our own activities which we are getting that according to their karma we are actually getting the activities bhagwan is giving us but still the actual uh, strange point is that that bhaktiman bhaktiman species bhaktiman jeevas the actual strange point is that that those bhaktiman bhaktiman jeevas all those bhaktiman gan that karma sakal that bhaktiman gan that according to their previous karma bhagwan actually just firing it up and just destroying that completely their previous karma fall those who are actually coming in bhakti that adi purush govind i want to worship him up till you understand it's already written in the shastras janma karma bandhanam vishnavanam chavitat vishnu kaha 
that Vaishnavas, their uh, janma means birth and karamband and uh, karambandhan. It is not at all there with Vaishnav at all. So what does it mean actually? The actual meaning is that that bonded jivas that Bhagwan is giving the actual karamphal of that to them. Maybe Bhagwan to the bonded jivas, that free will of jivas, Bhagwan is not at all putting any pressure on their free independent will. Maybe Bhagwan, you can see that he is not at all putting any kind of pressure on the independent will of the bonded jivas. Maybe on the bonded jivas free will, that on that free will, Bhagwan is not at all putting any pressure on their independent free will. Bhagwan is not at all pressurizing their independent free will at all. But still, bonded jivas, that their own free will, according to what they have just uh, uh, have the behavior on that, upon that their karmful will just depend on that, that what kind of karm they will be doing. According to that, they will get the result of their karmful. It's already written, Bhagavan has written in Gita about that, that you have already uh, uh, forget this point. That, that uh, in the work you have the uh, eligibility but in Karamphal you don't have the eligibility what you will get. So Krishna Balram Indrajag before Indrajag this kind of question is actually put in front of them. That what you are doing they are asking to Nanda Maharaj what is the actual use of that that kind of uh, that kind of karma for what purpose you are doing beta actually for satisfaction of indra who is indra actually <laughs> you see actually krishna speaking that by karma only Jivas are actually getting their birth and Jivas are getting their identity as well. So, so, so then what is the actual fault of Bhagwan in that bonded Jivas that according to the previous Karambhafal, whatever kind of uh, activities they are actually getting in, Bhagwan has no particular in that, that no partiality is there of Bhagwan. Bonded Jivas that kind of uh, karamphal if you want to donate that. Then bonded jivas, that just by giving donation of karamphal, that Bhagwan that has no partiality by in donation of their karamphal to the bonded jivas, that thereby their purva, that previous karamphal, that whatever they have done previously and whatever you will do ahead, that according to that, uh, that sanskar actually you are getting out of that. But uh, on those spe- devotees, special uh, attention and kripa of Bhagwan is there on those devotees. That kind of karma phal. The Bhagwan is actually just destroying the karma from the root and just uh, destroying it completely by firing it up. Rupa Goswami Pada actually already told this point to us. Rupa Goswami Pad already told this point to us very nicely. So whatever be the case. So very special Kripa, that kind of avidya and karam vasana, by desire of more karma, that bharv uh, karma, the whatever kind of karma fall we are getting, it only completely destroyed from the roots. Now Rotam Das Thakur also speaking in context of this Already told by Narodhpun Thakur, no? So, 
So, inside devotees, what kind of karma desires, avidya, dharma, dharma, dharmatmak, karma, whatever fruit they will get, everything is actually getting destroyed from the roots by Bhagwan completely. Why? Because inside Vaishnav, that karamful, the Vaishnav don't need to get the karamful in their life at all. Uh, Vaishnav don't need to have this kind of uh, intention or desire to get the fruits of their karmphal at all. It is completely destroyed by Bhagwan. This already there. So, Inside devotees, that karma mool and karma desires, avidya, everything is actually getting destroyed. Dharma, arma, dharma, adharma, atma, karma, everything is getting destroyed from the roots. And just be sure about this completely, that whatever kind of karma is actually anadi, is from infinity time it is going on. That karma is actually getting from infinity time, but still it has this kind of chance is there that it will get destroyed. If karma is anadi, if karma is anadi is from infinity time, but still karma from infinity time it is there, but he is actually, but it is actually come to an end. It can come to an end. You understand the point? It's already written in Kirtan. Bhakti Nath Thakur has written very nicely in the Kirtan. This Kirtan, very nice Kirtan, Bhakti Thakur is there. So, karma, if it is from infinite time, but still karma, there is a chance that karma can come to an end. So, those who are taking the desires of karma, whatever they will find, definitely their karma will get destroyed. Those who are having this kind of desires, in that they will get the fruit of their karma, which already Bhagwan has told. So those who are taking, thinking the fruits of the their karma full, that they are having some desire regarding the karma, they are actually want the fruit out of that. Definitely their karma full will get destroyed. It will not at all get destroyed for them at all. And in sannyas dharma and sannyas dharma also, this is also ashrama chitta. It is also one kind of division in uh, the ashram dharma. And in that sannyas, the main point that kind of uh, desire if it is rare then definitely what uh, we will not at all feel any kind of preeti for Bhagwan. if some kind of desire for come for karm fall still there in the sannyasa ashram as well they are actually uh, the, for these people also So Sanyas Dharma, Ash Sanyas Dharma Ashram. So Sanyas Dharma also is actually Ashram Dharma Karma Chist. It means it is not out of the that uh, Ashram and Dharma Karma. In this also, that Moksha Spriha, that kind of Karmphal regarding Moksha and Mukti, that kind of Moksha what you want, that kind of desire also if you are having, then definitely you will not be getting Preeti for Krishna at all. These people also according to their Karmphal, they also according to their Karam, they are actually getting the fruits. These, these people also, even Sanyasis also are getting According to their karma fall, they are getting the result of, of that. According to that, they will get the fruit. Very infinite assembly. So, 
for those people who are actually speak jeevas are doing pure devotion who are in actually in pure devotion for them but actually speaking they have no desire at all inside their heart and no anya bilashita is anya bilash is there inside their heart those for pure devotees i have already told you that rup go swami pad has told regarding this in bhakti samrit sindhu that those who are in pure devotion they are actually anya vilashita shunyam with that gyan and karma they are actually taking what is beneficial for krishna seva that with full anukul bhav for krishna and with full preeti for krishna whatever is actually good for bhagavad bhagavad seva which is actually uh, uh, satisfy bhagwan which is actually satisfying bhagwan that they are actually taking that and doing that that is actually called pure devotion so of all those pure devotees those who are actually pure devotees that kind of anya bilash without any kind of desire that with full gyan and karma which is actually anukulya for krishna seva with full anukulya bhav for krishna seva that all the time they are actually getting the krishna seva bhav inside them and krishna that same krishna also for those people krishna for those same people that karma karma vasna avidya everything in uh, fine form he is actually destroying that bhagwan shri krishna that uh, he is actually nirapeksha having on neutral platform bhagwan shri krishna is on a neutral platform definitely he is neutral but still having some kind of partiality for his pure pure devotion but externally there is someone speaking that bhagwan has given him this he is not at all giving but for vaishnav he has some special uh, special partiality is there but for devotees definitely they will definitely get the fruits of their uh, bhakti what they are doing there is no partiality is there no if someone speaking are devotees you are giving to them and we are not at all you are not at all devotee na so we will, we will get bhagwan actually is partial so this kind of which is already there bhakt and bhagwan that bhagwan is actually getting uh, trapped with the bhajan bhakti that's why he is actually bhagwan actually is neutral but for his devotees bhagwan he is actually getting uh, partial also this is the actual vishe of prema in this bhagwan not at all getting any kind of uh, fault in it in this bhagwan is not at all having any kind of fault why because bhagwan is actually nirapeksh he is on neutral platform in this there is no fault is there and lot of people are finding fault in this lot of people are finding fault in bhagwan only <laughs> that bhagwan why actually is doing like this it is not at all good bhagwan is not nirapeksh bhagwan for what what is good and what is bad he is actually uh, he is actually uh, uh, ask he is teaching bhagwan that what is good and what is bad <laughs> these people are showing bhagwan so much false ego they are having you see that what is good what is not good he they are actually telling bhagwan so foolish number 1 they are see uff bhagwan that what is good and what is bad that this is not good for bhagwan this is good for bhagwan. who are you actually <laughs> they are actually just uh, speaking to bhagwan like this you see what kind of eligibility they are having to speak to put question like this in front of bhagwan so the actual point is that this already told this is not at all told just be careful this is actually told but it doesn't mean here it is not written like this it is not written like that why because bhakti it is not at all coming from the sky at all that bhakti on the basis of bhakti all those devotees who are falling from their bhakti will come from a perceptual channel that ordinary thing this is written this is actually written each and every particle bhagwan speaking that i am there inside that that is the actual uh, ansh of the shakti and jeev is just the servant of bhagwan but if servant is not at all don't want to do his job and he has just forget that then definitely the title of servant will definitely be with him 
this title definitely will stay with him for infinity time he is not at all serving bhagwan but still he is servant he want to do service of bhagwan he is not at all doing but still he is the servant of bhagwan he definitely that stamp is there of his servant servantship so if he is not at all doing no because of his forgetfulness of his job then what to do bhagwan will not be at all taking him uh, forcefully and just be taking and do this service those who will be getting pure guru vaishnav association that definitely they will get out of this bondage in the pure guru in pure vaishnav association that who is getting bhakti inside their heart at that time that seva vritti It automatically that jiva is getting inside their heart with full anand under the guidance of guru vishnu bhagwan dham naam after that only that bhakti the it is called as bhakti afterwards you understand the point he is gay this is actually bhakti that the actual name devotee is coming before that it is not at all possible at all but still that kind of introduction is there that that your child is actually lost somewhere you are you have just lost your child somewhere and for up till full one month here you are not at all finding your child and after that you discovered that your uh, child is actually uh, is with one uh, person he has just taken his responsibility i was actually lost when i was in 4 to 5 years i was actually lost and mother father just found me from the police <laughs> in the very small in victoria memorial hall i just went to the uh, zoo uh, a bird zoo and there actually i was just lost but a bird uh, but the boy actually is lost but it doesn't mean that he has no relationship with the, his mother and father it is not at like this relationship this is not at all lost no understand the point he is a small child okay but still that uh, child that some kind of relationship is there Uh, with your boy that um, uh, father and uh, boy that you son relationship where you will not lost at all that that will become virodhi vishay and it will again will become effective when the boy will uh, just meet with his father so that father son relationship cannot get destroyed at all so that's why if the actual vichar is that regarding this that this is definitely permanent so those who are doing seva are not at all there for infinity period they are actually going from the cycle of birth and death of maya but that title that the jiva is getting that the kind of title he will not at all he that will not at all get lost it is permanently there but this is not at all applicable this is not at all applicable why because seva is not the bhakti after bhakti only in the swarup of jivas that uh, seva mood will come automatically it will sprout automatically but in a very hidden form it is there that potency is there in the jiva but in order to activate that potency it's very much important so like this just by ahetuk pranali by just getting together with that from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu just like uh, ganga dhara it is coming that hari katha we are just uh, hearing and uh, after hearing that kind of bhakti udveg can come inside our heart before that it is not at all possible to get before that it is not at all possible so whatever be the case up till today we will be just uh, giving rest and i have to give rest today just uh, forgive me for that i have to give rest today up till this point punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi matri jathare sayanam vanchakalpaturushike phasindu bhavich patitanam pavanabhyo krishnabhyo